So this this silk came from Thai silks, right? Thai silk. Thai silk. And is that the 5MM, whatever MM stands for? You know, I don't remember. <laughs> I know there's like a 3MM and a 5MM, which are the lightest weights. Yeah, I think this is a 3. The 3 mm, okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like the latest. This is. Uh, I think you're going to need a sharp. The latest stick. is gauze. I think it's called gauze. Okay. Need a I'm sharp. just cutting a piece big enough that it'll fit the piece of glass that I happen to have. I could use a sharper scissors, couldn't I? You certainly could. Mm -hmm. All right. I know the price of this stuff went up kind of significantly since I last bought oh, some yeah. of this. Oh, yeah. But it's still quite reasonable. It's way cheaper than buying it from SIG. Yeah. Well, yeah, from your hobby shop. I believe that, okay. I believe colored silk, if you want colored silk, is still available from SIG. But yes. it's quite it's quite expensive. Yes, yes. you can buy colored or you can dye the stuff. I actually had dye it with a sealer. Well I'm gonna dampen it down just so it lays flat. Okay. On the glass. And that's just water. This is just water. And using a little sponge roller. Mm. Just to make it lay flat. Otherwise, it gets hard to hard to manipulate. Does it seem to expand at all when it gets wet? Yes. It yes, does. It does expand. All right. It does it. So that's all I need there. I'm all right. Water to get it to lay flat. I'll dry it off a little bit. paper clips on the end. I don't want this wet. I just want it damp. You're just working the wrinkles out from the center working to the edges. The, working the wrinkles out and 
like I said, I just want it damp, not sopping wet. So the water helps it adhere to the glass nice and flat. Yeah. Takes out the wrinkles. Yeah. And it probably also what slackens the silk, would you say, or expands the silk? Yeah, it causes the silk to expand. Okay. So it's so it's actually being pre-stretched to a certain extent. So why do you think doing it this way is so much superior to the standard way of adhering it to the to the framework unsealed well, and then sealing it I once it's attached? I, um, when I when I apply it, you'll see that it makes it. Although this is a little putsy right now, you make up for it in how easy it is to. to uh, adhere to the frame of the airplane. So you can just you can use it almost like monocoat once it's pre-sealed. Okay. It doesn't stretch, you know, it doesn't shrink as much as monocoat would. You don't have that. You don't have that shrinkage. You have to apply it a lot flatter. Make sure there's no wrinkles and sags. In short, the time you spend doing this is is made up for by ease of application. Okay. Pretty good. So the silk is the silk is just damp. No excess water really. The excess water will dilute the polyurethane. Right. So this is just your standard uh, water-based poly. Verithane. Quarter of a cup I've put on there so far, perhaps. <laughs> 